everyone, it's Lisa, and today is actually Tuesday, and I, oh, I've got so much, like, in my head to tell you. I probably will start telling you about my Atlanta trip today, and then I might tell you some more on Friday, because Makeup by Tiffany D. Tiffany came and picked me up the second day that I was there and took me to a couple of more stores and I did some more shopping, which I knew I was going to. So, and it's kind of different shopping because at the Nordstrom sale, they have such good stuff that I already love and I already know that I want. But then when I went with Tiffany, we went to like Saks and Neiman Marcus and I got kind of like some more special items like luxury items so i'm going to save those for friday but i had so many complaints <laughs> about my video when i was there that you couldn't hear me and you couldn't see what i was showing and i'm sorry i just was excited to and I'm, i think i'm going to keep doing that every time i go somewhere i'm going to take a video there because i love it for myself that's one good thing about these videos is they're like when I brought home Bridget for the first time, I have that on video. And even in my very first video, my introduction to YouTube, I can hear the kids just kind of laughing and playing and kind of screaming and stuff in the background, which is so funny because I was immune to that back then. And like there was a cartoon blaring on the TV. I think it was, um, we always used to play like Madagascar and um, the Shrek movies and I, I don't know what it would have been back then. Toy Story, you know, all those. So I love listening to that. I'm so glad I didn't delete that video. But anyway, oh, so that's why I am glad I made that video. And um, I don't know, I feel like my channel and I'm kind of an in the moment person. I tend to overthink things. And so a lot of times if I don't tell you something or do something, I lose my, I don't know, I hate to say authenticity, but but I overthink what I'm gonna say. So I don't wanna do that. That's why I try, I know I'm not the most, um, like my before and afters and stuff like that, and my things that I record are not the best quality and stuff, but I feel like that's what keeps me in the moment. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. But, um, and here's Chanel, I was wondering, where have you been? She's got her, she shakes her tail because she gets so excited, you know. You gonna come up here with us? Okay, so what I did today, I'll pull you in. Um, I couldn't decide, okay, first of all, I did my hair straight. John really likes it straight all of a sudden. He com complimented me last night. I thought I might put in my extensions, but I just didn't feel like it. I'm just such a bad extension girl. That's why I think the tape ends might be the way to go if you just want, if you don't want a big commitment and you want some extra. I love my clip ends and I even have the halo, but when it comes to doing it, I always chicken out. I don't know. So anyway, I'm sorry this is going to be so random all over the place. Okay, I was thinking about what makeup to wear today. What should I wear? And I was thinking about what I've already worn because I wanted to kind of show you a few things again and um, tell you what I think. And I don't know if I have that Tom Ford palette. Let me go get something real quick. Okay. And the shoes I have on, they're, they're not ones that I got at the Nordstrom sale, but they're ones I've got recently and I want to tell you about those too. So I hope I don't forget. But anyway, here is the Tom Ford palette that came in that lip kit. And that I don't know, seems like it might be sold out, but they're going to restock. So don't, if, if it's sold out, don't forget about it because they will restock. I remember they did that last year. This is so much better than I even thought it would be. I cannot believe the amount of oomph that you get with just the top two shades. The day I was leaving Atlanta on the plane, I decided to use this. The day before I went shopping with Tiffany, I just used um, my Bare Minerals Pebble because I don't know, I, I, I wanted to know that I was gonna like what I put on. But the day I was leaving, I put this on and I couldn't believe it. I could not believe the amount of color you got from just the top two shades. And I haven't even played much. I think I tried to do a tutorial for you guys on Sunday. I wore my green dress and I took a little outfit of the day video and I need to, 
I need to get with the program on Insta Stories. That's on my mind. I'm going to do that. And but anyway, I'll put that video at the end of this um, video. And I wore that color that day. And I did a video, but it was terrible. Um, John kept walking behind me, and we were getting ready to leave, and I just got flustered, and it just wasn't good. I didn't feel good about it. So, but anyway, beautiful, beautiful palette. I know you can see it better here. Um, love it. And the lipsticks that came with it are both really good ones. I'm so glad that they're not doing that thing where they have like one good eyeshadow palette and throw in a dark purple lipstick or something that, you know, where it's like most of the makeup exclusives for that sale are so good. I mean, I just, I couldn't believe how good they were. So the lipstick that came with that, the Spiced Honey, um, I'll go ahead and show you. I bought a full size of that. Yeah, Spiced Honey. I bought a full size because I was thinking I'm going to keep that little one in my purse and I wanted a full size because I love it. It is an amazing nude. It's one of the best ones. If you liked like nude vanilla, it's so much better than that because it's a little bit more wearable. It's just really good. So I got that when I was out the next day with Tiffany. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you today. And I've got something else I'll show you later. Um, I wanted to, gosh, when I was packing, I had to unbox everything when I was packing because I didn't, I really almost did not fit everything in my, I took an empty suitcase and then my suitcase that I was using was half empty, but I filled it up. And um, so let me take out some stuff that I crammed in here. <laughs> Which, that's funny. Oh, my goodness. Okay, whew, that scared me. Okay, so um, I thought what I would do is show you the YSL Nude Lips again. It comes in this pretty little package that says Ready to Glow, YSL Beauty. And um, because last year, when I think about my favorite things, this is what stood out to me. So let me start with the lightest one first. And before I do that... I wanted to tell you how much I am loving the Sarah Hap Lip Slip Kit that I got there. This coconut scrub is amazing. I just did it on my lips and it leaves the slightest little bit of like conditioning oils and that it's not, it doesn't feel like those ones that are dry that you just take out some powder and they go everywhere, like the Lush. This is so much easier to use, and it's not so, um, doesn't feel like little pieces of glass on your lips. It's very nice, and it tastes like coconut and sugar, and I love it. Hey, Chanel. I'll get you a spot right there. And so I love this, and I already knew I loved the lip slip because this is something I have used for years. I have gotten it in the tube a couple of times, and then I was just about out of my pot of it, so I've been using this like crazy. And I wanted to show you how pretty it is just on its own. So I have nothing on my lips now. And I put more blush on today. I'm going to show you another product I got. But anyway, so I want to show you this, how pretty this is. It's more than, this is something you can wear. You know what I mean? It's not just a lip conditioner. It's actually got little sparkles in it. And it makes your lips really pretty. I think I wore this in the beginning of my uh, lip filler video. So it's just so pretty. So for those of you that are not, you know, real lip, um, you know, a lot of lip color people, you will love that. And let me go get a napkin real quick so I can wipe my fingers off and stuff. And I've got Bridget, Sassy, and Chanel. I just need Bubba here and we'll be set. <laughs> Hold on. And I feel myself getting excited again. And I was going to tell you this. Um, before YouTube was ever invented, I was doing hauls. <laughs> I can remember, like, especially my friend Brandy and my friend Mary, every time they would come over, I would have to take them to my closet and show them all the new stuff I've got. And it's so funny because... Brandy's probably dresses a little bit, they're, they're both not my style, but there's little aspects that could be, and it's funny because some of the stuff I can remember showing, like my friend Mary, are so not her, and she was probably thinking, why is she showing me this? But 
It's just, I, I enjoy it. And my mom does it with me. Like when I go over to her house, she'll say, oh, I went to a Gap and got a new pair of jeans and she'll have to try them on for me. And um, it's just, I don't know, this is just, I think that's why I love YouTube so much. And I, people always ask me like, what made me get started? It's like, was, when I found YouTube, it was just like me, you know, so much. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to show you my lips. Okay, ramble, ramble. Okay, I'm gonna blot this off. I'm actually gonna kind of rub it off so it doesn't um, change any of these colors. I'm gonna start with the lightest formula first so we can build up. Or should I? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, this is the Rouge Voluptu Shine. And these are, and I believe it's called I'll put the link in the, I'll try to put the name down below because I can't remember. It's called like My Private Nude or something like that. And um, so I'm gonna show you. And let me use my mirror that I bought just for this. This is that Simple Human mirror. And this one's not as mean as the other ones. Um, it is, let's see, how do I cut it on? I can't remember, there it goes. It's three times, not five times. Okay, so I'm gonna try this on. Ooh, and I love the way it lights up my face too good for you guys. And I on purpose didn't use um, liner today because I wanted to, you to really see these lip colors. I love the smell of these so much. Okay, so that is the Lip Volup Shine. So what it is, it's like a glossy lipstick and it's not heavy feeling at all. It doesn't feel like you have anything on. It feels like you just put on lip gloss or lip conditioner before you went to bed. It feels really good and I think it's such a pretty color. And Chanel's gonna play with stuff on the table. She's such a kitten. Okay, so now I'm gonna Take that off. <laughs> this mirror is still on. Okay, then I'm gonna put on the Rouge Pure Couture, which is more, it's a, like a satiny formula that is more saturated in color. Okay, and. I know I love this. Mm. So it is, you can see it's a little bit more of a creamy look. Is that helping or is that hurting? I think daylight might be better. Oh, it's so pretty. And you can change, like I'm sure you could get more color out of these if you used a dark lip liner or, um, there's a lid, less or you know, change it pink or brown or whatever like that. I'm sorry, rambling. Okay, and then here is the matte, um, which I think it would be cool to layer this and then put another one on, and it's a 417. I can't remember what these are called, okay. Um, oh, it's just the cream. Oh, it's the vinyl cream, so it's not that matte, okay. I haven't worn this since I tried it on for you guys that day. Okay, so, oh, but it's gonna be like full color. That feels good. This might be my actual favorite color of the kit. So pretty. So pretty. So don't give up on any of these if they are sold out so far, they will restock. So when I went back in the Nordstrom store, I went back the day I left real early to exchange that blazer for the small. So thank you guys so much for helping me with that because I do agree and even John had watched my video, just part of it, and said that he thought it was too big too. Um, but the girl at the time for said that the kits had sold out but she thought that they would re, um, restock them. So, and then um, the day I went shopping with Tiffany, I did wear these and oh, I just love them. And they are so much like the Gucci sunglasses. And 
I really think that if you like pink stuff, you would love the pink ones too. But so I'll have a picture to probably put in here to show you that you can, and they're just light as a feather, of course. And then um, I have this earring down here. I hope I can find the other one somewhere. I hope that it's in here. It is. Um, but these, I think, are so pretty. And of course, these that I showed you. I haven't worn these yet, but I know these are going to be good basics. A lot of times, you guys know I wear all black so much. It's nice to have something like that to put on with it, like a big rhinestone or something. Oh, these. I think these might be my favorites. I wore these um, Sunday with my green dress. And I hope that you can see, I didn't know if you could see in that video because of the sun, the gold that's kind of, the little gold sparkle that's kind of in the middle of these. It's just so pretty. So it kind of makes them like a a rhinestone earring, but with a little bit of, I don't know, because sometimes I like just having a gold stud too. So, sorry I'm going in and out so much. I probably shouldn't do that. It might be irritating. Okay, goodness. And when I stand up, I'll show you some other stuff in case you didn't see it. And um, today when I was doing my eye makeup, I was thinking that, I was wondering if I should have gotten or if I still should get, because I have placed two more online orders. One was just one thing that, I, that they had run out of and they'd already restocked. And so I'll be able to show you that on Friday. But I keep wondering if I should get the Trish McAvoy, either the, I love their brushes and I love the little um, things, the kits that you get. So today I wore in my, on my eyeshadow, I wore one of my favorite little sets that I got from Trish McAvoy, one of my first kits like that. And so I just want to tell you, if you've never tried Trish McAvoy eyeshadows, they are beautiful. Lots of color, but still smooth, still wearable, not a lot of fallout, blend, just wonderfully and real wearable, kind of like um, Laura Mercier or a little bit better than Bobbi Brown, I think, far as, I don't know, having more pizzazz than Bobbi Brown. Sometimes Bobbi Browns are so muted. I would say more like Laura Mercier and just, I love them. I love my Trish. The fact that I still have it means I love it. So, um, a couple more things and I'm gonna save my shopping trip with Tiffany till Friday. But a couple more things I wanted to show you are some things that I got before I left, like my Charlotte Tilbury order. I bought a full size of the Charlotte's Magic Cream. This is something I would have never in a million years imagined myself buying. And had I not gotten a sample in her order, I probably wouldn't have even tried it, but I did and it is, heaven. I can see why people love this. I've seen like, um, I think on Housewives of New York, Carol took a big one to, to it for a gift somewhere. And I was thinking, gosh, you know, does she really like that that much? It is, I don't know, I feel like you've got to try it, but there is a Charlotte Tilbury kit that you can get at the Nordstrom sale. And the only reason I didn't get it is because I already had, I just bought this and I already had the Wonder Glow and you know, I just felt like, you know, I had to choose. But, um, so love this. And I can't wait to, I've been having it out here before I used it. And then I got something I have not even tried yet because I've had it out here to show you and I've been kind of consumed with some other stuff I got. But I bought the Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in uh, First Love. And it's one of the nudest ones and I thought I would really like this. Um, I can't remember who I saw wearing this. I think it might have been Anna Saccone. I think it might have been Anna that was wearing this, and I just thought I would love it because I love Burberry Earthy and all of those other ones that are nude. So I think that was, and then I bought my mom the Flawless Filter. That is why I had placed this order, so. And then, like the day before I was leaving, and I hate that I don't have the, these come in a beautiful, like velvet pouch, but I got a package from Kevin Aquan. And I think, no, I got this sooner because I think I had actually even used this in a video before I left. 
or maybe, I don't know, it's all running together. But this is a Neo bronzer that is so beautiful. It's what I've got on today. And it's just, I just can't tell you how pretty this is. So you can go in the bronzer part or you can go just for a blush like a bronzy rose or you can go for a brighter pink color and then that is a highlight. And this is what I have on today. And I did put a little bit of a highlight of the other palette that I'm gonna show you. Beautiful. I mean, this is a beautiful product. It's the Neo Bronzer in Capri, which is the cool pink. And I'm assuming they probably have some different ones. And then this is, I feel like I've already talked about this. Maybe I was just, I never know if I really tell y'all something or if it's something I was thinking about telling you. I don't know, but this is the Neo Limelight Neo Bronzer in Ibiza, Iridescent Glow. And I have on this on the top. The, you know, the lavender, that's a tricky one. But if you put it just a little bit, I didn't do it today because I felt like I already had so much going on. But if you put that lavender like right there, it makes your eyes just sparkle. I don't know if it's, if it might make the whites of your eyes more white. But so thank you, Kevin Aquan, for sending me that. I love them both. I actually took this with me to Atlanta when I went. And on Friday, I will tell you more about what I think of shopping in Atlanta. I can tell you it's positive, so positive, but I'll give you more of my thoughts. I don't wanna make this video crazy long today. So is that all I wanted to show you today? I think it is. And um, this morning or Yesterday, when I was shopping or going through, I actually went through the home stuff yesterday because there's so much more online than there is in the store, but I wanted that in-store experience. I just wanted to see how it was. And I noticed so many things that are on sale that are my favorites that, like this t-shirt and a bunch of other things, like the, I just put it on, the Kiehl's Creme Decor Lotion and stuff like that. So I'm gonna list some things below that are my favorite things that are on the sale that I don't necessarily need to buy again right now and I've just got to stop somewhere. So um, anyway, so let me stand up, do my outfit of the day and show you a couple other things so you can see them. I think the lighting's pretty good today, so I'll be right back. Okay, so today I have on that really good tea, the Madewell tea, and I believe this is on sale too. I'll put it down below. And then these are those track pants that I bought that I was telling you are so yummy. And the shoes I'm wearing today are, and I know they don't like match, but I like the fact that they don't really, I like to mix you know, um, a casual look with something not so casual, which these are casual, but I love the look of the leopard with this. I had my Habianas on and I thought, no, I'm just gonna see how these look and I loved it. So I hope you can see these. I will do maybe some pictures to add in here too. But um, I wanted to tell you, I understand why these are so popular. You will see many uh, matter of fact, you might see a pair by Friday. I want more. I want the nude ones for sure. The I think it's called makeup. Um, I love these. They are so comfortable, worth every penny. I'd already put these on my shoe shelf and they looked so good sitting with like my white, um, the white mules and the white pumps and everything. They looked so, I love that sporty look. But these are the Stuart Weitzman sock booties and love these. I mean, these really make me happy. And they were kind of more expensive for the sale, but still a really good deal for Stuart Weitzman. And um, so I wanted to show you these again. I wonder, do you want me to try them on? I'll try them on for you, hold on. Oh goodness, guys, I just thought about this. How funny was it that my behind was showing? <laughs> I had that video edited and halfway loaded and I, Something made me think, you need to watch that back to make sure when you were changing clothes, nothing crazy happened. And then I saw that mirror all the way down the hall and oh gosh, that was so funny. So I had to get up. I was up till like three o'clock that morning. I had to re-edit it, reload it to my laptop and reload it to 
YouTube. And another thing is, this is kind of like a corny thing, but you know, that was the first time I'd ever taken my um, laptop with me on a trip. It's the first time I've ever done a video. And it was kind of like a challenge to myself. I always talk to Brooke about challenging yourself to do something, even if it kind of gives you anxiety or scares you a little bit or you don't feel like it. And so that was kind of like a little challenge to me too. I know it wasn't the best quality video, but it feels good now knowing I can do that. And um, I had never signed my, I had never used a computer in a hotel room. I know that sounds silly, but um, anyway, so I felt good that I did it. So anyway, here these are, and they might not look, uh, they might look crazy with this outfit, but you know what? Let me go get my blazer to try on too. Hold on. Okay, so here, I, this blazer is, it's worth it. It's fabulous. It, it's one of those that feels, um, has that silky, feeling when you put on it like feels so good and I love how okay this is the small so definitely was the thing to do I think it'll look better with dresses I think you're so right it'll stay up on my arms better I could roll it up so and here are the booties so I would I almost would I wear this hmm. I would if I was feeling really good that day <laughs> because the track pants give it a little bit more funk, but definitely with jeans or leggings, beautiful. So this is, I think, one of the stars. My mom was asking me my favorite thing, and I think this might be one of the favorite things that I got. I think I'm just gonna wear it a lot. And, yes. oh my goodness, butterscotch. Oh, my butterscotch coat. Love this. And I think I got this already in a, did I get this in small? You guys probably remember better than I did. Yes, yeah, small, and it's BCBG. And it fits like a dream. And I love it. See, I'd almost be more prone to wear this jacket with these pants and the boots. Oh my goodness, I love it. And then the next shoes I'm gonna show you are these. And I love these. And some of you really, really got it when I um, told you what these remind me of. And these are another pair of my favorites. So I thought I would try these on for you too. They're so, they're really, really soft. Oh, and don't forget, if you get these, get a half a size down. Love these. I mean, I, I really, I can't believe how good these feel. I wish my, um, I wish my Gucci half loafers, I wonder if the real Gucci loafers would feel this good because I might, would go ahead and splurge for them, but they feel really good. And um, I totally would wear them with these pants and a big leather coat and a heartbeat. Okay, and then the last thing are these jeans, which I love. I love this part. They're like trouser jeans. And I think they run true to size. I am just, I'm at my, I haven't gained all my weight back, but I'm not at my lowest right now, and I know I'm going to get back there, so I didn't want to get them too big, but love these. And I just have them back on with my, um, the Tory Burch, but love these jeans. I think they're so pretty and um, different. Okay, so I don't think that, that wasn't quite everything, but I, that was kind of like my faves, I think. Also, the Yummy Tummy, the, um, Thongs that I like that kind of pull in your tummy and smooth you out. I know they're on special. Just a lot of stuff. So I'll put that stuff down below. And um, Chanel and Bridget are having a little tender moment. <laughs> and um, so I hope that you saw something that you like. Um, let me know your favorite. Let me know your favorite thing down below. And like I said, I'll put the video of the green dress, which I have no regrets. I'm so glad I got that dress. I'll put it at the end, and I think that's it. And I'll have a lot of good stuff to show you on Friday. Um, not, not on sale, but some good stuff. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.